areas of high strangeness. Deep in the heart of Pennsylvania, there is a specific area of terrain that is considered almost sacred. A parcel of earth that time has seemingly forgotten. Covered in forest, water, caves, and mysterious creatures, this land is an area of high strangeness. A land where Bigfoot, Dogman, and a list of mythical creatures that we once thought were fiction seem to exist. The Pennsylvania Cryptid Research Team has investigated here multiple times throughout the decades and reported eyewitness accounts of what appears to be both cryptid and paranormal activity. Braving possible ridicule or worse, the team has come forth to give testimony of their experiences. There is a dark foreboding, a sense that maybe God has given up on this area, that maybe God handed this area over to something else, something esoteric, something evil. Maybe God banishes the darkness that has been cast out to this location, causing all sorts of bizarre paranormal activity. Maybe it's due to the satanic worship or the witchcraft that was acted out in this very location. The team has encountered unexplained phenomena such as sudden drops in temperature, strange lights in the sky, and eerie whispers in the woods. They have also found tracks and markings that defy any logical explanation, leading them to believe that something otherworldly is at play. We just get by this little barn and as we're going by, out of the corner of my eye, I noticed something big and black. Really? Yeah. As I had said before, twice, we have encountered shapeshifters. The once was about a 70 to 75 year old man, probably five foot and 130 pounds, if that. We were... 40 to 50 foot away from him when he, we basically watched him turn from that into a nine foot tall. The best way to describe it would be werewolf. Pennsylvania, like any other state, has its fair share of dark secrets and history. One of the most notorious places in Pennsylvania's history is the Pennhurst State School and Hospital a facility for people with intellectual and developmental disabilities that became known for its horrific treatment of its residents. The facility was eventually closed down in the 1980s after numerous reports of abuse and neglect. Another dark chapter in Pennsylvania's history is the tragedy of the Centralia Mine Fire. In 1962, a fire ignited in an underground coal mine beneath the town of Centralia, Pennsylvania. The fire has been burning for decades, causing the town to be abandoned due to the toxic gases and dangerous conditions created by the fire. Hi, I'm LaVon Holiba, and I am part of Pennsylvania Cryptid Research Team. We started to walk like the tree line and found some very interesting footprints. Um, these ones only had three toes, and they were spread apart, and they were about 16 inches. And you and I have discussed, you know, um, some very paranormal, unexplained things that have happened to me as I was, you know, as a child. Um, you know, witnessing angels saving my life, you know, when I was hit by a car. Um, I'm almost, you know, like we spoke earlier, I'm, I'm with an awe. I don't have any words to say that each, each and every time that I step into the woods, something is there. Pennsylvania has several haunted locations, including Eastern State Penitentiary in Philadelphia, Gettysburg Battlefield, Hotel Bethlehem in Bethlehem, and the Gettysburg Orphanage in Gettysburg. These locations are believed to be haunted by ghosts and spirits. Many people have reported experiencing paranormal activity at these sites. Hi, I'm TJ Seaman. Later that night, around 10, 11 at night, we, we kept hearing like little noise across the road. Kirk proceeds to tell us this is where he had his encounter with the dog man. 
that came out from across the road where we were hearing the noises coming from. It, 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 it gets along to be around one o'clock and I'm getting ready to say, well, if nothing happens soon, I'm going to my car and getting a couple hours sleep. I got the word I out of my mouth. Then we heard coyotes go off, maybe I'd say a hundred yards at best away from us. And they were really, really going off. Then we heard one at a time, yep, yep. They were getting taken out until we heard no more coyotes. Something was systematic. Something, something took out. There are also many possession cases that have been documented in Pennsylvania, such as the 1986 case in West Pittston, Pennsylvania, where a young girl was reportedly possessed by a demon and exhibited violent and erratic behavior. The 2009 case of the Philadelphia possession in Philadelphia, where a man claimed to be possessed by a demon and exhibited signs of supernatural strength and knowledge. The 2015 case of the Erie exorcism in Erie, Pennsylvania, where families sought out the help of a priest to exorcise a demon from their home after experiencing strange and terrifying occurrences. Also the 2018 case called the Pittsburgh Possession and the 2020 case called the Allentown Possession where a group of teenagers all allegedly became possessed by a demon after playing with the Ouija board. Does all this ghostly spiritual activity add up to this particular area being a spiritual dumping ground for dark entities? Are these entities transforming themselves, shape-shifting into creatures from our past? Is the elusive Bigfoot a hominid bipedal biological creature? Or is it a demon that has shape-shifted into something that we are all hoping to see? If that's true, is the same for the infamous Dogman? Or are these creatures all real, biological beings created and walking our earth, walking among us? I recall you telling me that you're 45 years into this, uh, right? your research and your field. Experience. I started when I was 18 and I am 65. Two winged things that appeared to be about four, three and a half to four foot tall kind of looked like gargoyles sitting on a back road, actually where you and I will be going to film, and literally took off and flew right at me. I would say they were trying to get me to drive the truck off the edge of the road. And needless to say, I was able to get out of there, but I don't know what they were. They were not birds. They had a humanish body, but they had probably a six foot to seven foot wide wingspan. Despite the dangers and uncertainties that come with exploring this mysterious land, the Pennsylvania Cryptid Research Team continues their investigations, determined to uncover the truth behind the strange occurrences in this forgotten corner of the world. As they delve deeper into the heart of Pennsylvania, they know that they are treading on thin ice, risking their lives for answers that may never come. But for these brave researchers, the quest for knowledge is worth the risk, and they will stop at nothing to unlock the secrets of this enigmatic and haunting land.